today we're going to go through the National American History Museum. A couple of the highlights, they have a whole entertainment section. They have a pair of Dorothy's ruby red slippers from The Wizard of Oz, Rocky Balboa's jacket, the Italian stallion, the mash sign, Archie Bunker's chair from All in the Family, Mr. Rogers' sweater, a lot of cool Americana history. A really cool artifact from the Revolutionary War that I was just blown away by. It just gives you a taste of everything. So let's check it out. This is an easy chair that was in Washington's bedroom when he died. And he sat in it not long before he died. Now the upholstery has been, it's been reupholstered, but George Washington sat in that chair. George Washington sat right there. This is George McClellan's chess set his coat, and his revolver. That sash, used as a flag of truce and saved by George A. Custer, presented at the surrender signing of the Civil War. That's pretty cool. This is Sherman's horse, Winchester, and the Smithsonian has had it all these years. I'm sure they don't know what to do with it, but this is Sherman's horse, Winchester. This is Sherman's hat and sword. How cool is that? So those are the field glasses by Ulysses S. Grant, and this is a camp chair by Ulysses S. Grant. Both of these here are used by Ulysses S. Grant. Wilmer McLean and Appomattox, and this is the actual furniture from the Appomattox Courthouse where the surrender took place. Lee sat in that chair, Grant sat in that chair. This is Wilmer's furniture. This is where the surrender was signed. Abraham Lincoln had tickets to two shows. He could have seen Aladdin, but his wife thought it would be better if he saw a comedy. That's the actual playbill from our American cousin. John Wilkes Booth had picked up his mail earlier that day at Ford's Theater, and they had said the Lincolns had decided to come to our American cousin that night, so that's how Booth knew they were gonna be there. Mary Todd Lincoln, blue, purple, velvet ensemble, believed to have been made by her African-American dressmaker, Elizabeth Keckley. And then this was worn by the First Lady during the winter social season of 1861 to 1862. So this is from the Lincoln conspirators. And these are the wrist irons that they wore during the trial. And this is the piece, the coolest artifact that they have here is the hat that Lincoln was wearing at Ford's Theater the night he was shot. And then this is the flag that was flown uh, at the funeral train. So when Garfield is shot by Charles Goudeau and they can't find the bullet, Alexander Graham Bell devises something to try to find the bullet in his body, but because he's laying on a metal spring bed, he keeps giving false positives. But this is the device created by Alexander Graham Bell. And this is Edith Roosevelt, uh, Theodore Roosevelt's wife, and it's her gown and her chair. Very pretty. First Lady Gallery. And you get to see a lot of the different china. Lady Bird Johnson, Texas, very ornate. Nancy Reagan, Republican, red. This Hillary Rodham Clinton, this Bush, and there's Michelle Obama. The inauguration dresses over here, you have Melania Trump. It's a beautiful dress, right beside Obama's dress, which was also beautiful. You have Carter's dress, and Nancy Reagan's dress, and Barbara Bush's dress. There's Hillary Rodham Clinton's dress, blue, and then you have Bush, red. How appropriate. Finished the Museum of American History. I hope you got to see a little taste of what's in here as well. If you ever make the trek to Washington, D.C., you can see them for yourself. On to my next Walk with History.